The Michelle McCall Show. This week we're in Baltimore because, well, quite frankly, I was in the mood for some crab cakes. <laughs> Lean in. We about to be on camera. No, the Michelle McCall Show is on the road looking for eligible, single, successful men. So for all you women who keep logging on to wheremyman.com, I've downloaded them right onto my stage. So let's meet the best of Baltimore. Luke Brunet, venture capitalist and author of the bestseller, I Got Your Money. <laughs> Michael Green, volunteer fireman and owner of the city's premier eatery, Killer Crab. <laughs> and Flex Washington, former pro basketball player and current sports anchor at WYNX. What's up, Baltimore? <laughs> When I say flat, you say that, flat, that, flat, that. When I say my, you say show, my, show, my, show. And we'll be right back. <laughs> Sometimes in the sky, you can feel all by yourself. Yeah, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one in. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be back. Next guest is the Fladette man himself, Flex Washington. <laughs> Flex, apparently you're the guy W.Y. next goes to when no one else can get the story. Could it be those adorable dimples, lady? <laughs> Come on, smile for us. Oh, Come stop. on. <laughs> You do blush. Oh, girl, I'm too proud to blush. <laughs> Sex and the single father. How do you work that? I don't. Because my daughter knows I've only had sex once in my life. To create her. <laughs> well, he's selling something, ladies. Who's buying? I don't know. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow when we'll meet... Baltimore's hottest women. Not as much fun for me, but you guys will love it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, because if you didn't, I'd be at home with you. <laughs>
I'm Arnez, and this is Spirit. Spirit? You're just like Brianna described. You're different, and you take fashion chances. Thank you for recognizing, girl, but you'd be surprised what you could put together with what you find in the trash. <laughs> My mama's bathroom rug yesterday. A new coat today! <laughs> Arnez, Brianna didn't tell me anything about you. Oh, I'm gonna tell you a little secret. <laughs> no, you're my dirty little stalker. <laughs> See how much she loves me? Oh, uh, I gotta go to band practice. Oh, cool. Can I take along with you? That's where I'm going. Are you in the band? Well, I'm trying out today. Bass drum. I'll play snare. Well, it sounds like you two drummers need to beat it. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> Her. She kind of take the focus off Arnaz. Well, if she keeps taking Arnaz away, that might be even better. I mean, it's nice to be liked and everything, but he chewed my bun into the shape of a heart. Yeah, Michelle McCall is coming to my house tonight. I am the man. <laughs> okay, all right, checklist. Brianna, gone. Aunt Trail in the kitchen, gone. Underwear, gone. <laughs> Welcome to. Uh, my mama said I can't handle company. Sorry, Flex, it's just a precaution. Okay, you can go now. Oh, Flex, your place is so quaint. Oh, I love it. I get so tired of walking around my villa. It's so nice to see everything in just. One room. <laughs> well, uh, later on, we can uh, jump in the dishwasher and take a little steam. <laughs> I can already tell I'm going to love being with a sweet young thing like you. <laughs> now, where's your bathroom so I can freshen up? Oh, uh, third door on the left. And please, ignore the teenage panties hanging on the shower. I have a daughter, not a fetish. <laughs> Before we go to Bleaker Bills, I hear they have the city's biggest selection of vintage vinyls. Girl, Arnett is always dragging me to that place. You gotta take three buses and walk four blocks just to get there. Mm -mm. I have my car. Okay, I'm out of excuses. I just hate that place. <laughs> then I guess it's just us two, sweet cakes. Okay, pumpkin. I wanna get Lenny's album. Oh, oh, the first sound garden album. Oh, oh, I'm gonna grab that one. Sweet cakes. Pumpkin. Oh, Alex, I'll take dumb pet names for 200, please. <laughs> Hi, all oh, the attitude girl. Is your bra on backwards? <laughs> no, it's just that I found her first and she's not paying no attention to me. Are you sure that's what it's about? Yeah, what else would it be about? Rihanna, hey, listen, I just want to make sure you're okay with me hanging out with Arnaz. Sure, why do I care? I know he has a thing for you, and I don't know if you like him and you're just playing hard to get. Not hard, Natasha, girl. Impossible. <laughs> Arnez does nothing for me. We're just friends. Good, because I really like him. He's fine, he's sexy, and he smells like peaches. <laughs> uh, who would smell Arnez? That girl is tripping. <laughs> she ain't the only one. <laughs> Eating that nasty food. Uh, nasty boy. Good morning. Uh, nasty boy. <laughs> so, uh, did we sleep well? Did we sleep? Oh. <laughs> All right, you finish the eggs. I'll get the paper. We'll get back in bed and make love over easy. <laughs> Just as long as it's not over quickly. Oh, you know how to roll like that. <laughs> Cat fight with Oprah, Oprah. Oprah, Oprah, Oprah. Is there no other black woman in America? Uh, hi. Flex, how does it feel to be Michelle Flynn's boy toy? Is it true you're her future baby's daddy? <laughs> I have a statement. 
As a fellow member of the press, I find your behavior unethical, immoral, and just plain stanky. <laughs> now, if you're gonna shoot me, at least you can get my good side. Go ahead. Okay, thanks. Now, you promised me you wouldn't tell anybody. Oh, I've been down this road before. Okay, so who did you tell? I, I, I swear, I didn't tell anyone. Well, uh, except my best friend, Dwayne. And he would never keep a secret to save his life. I'm a little insulted that you didn't think to mention it to me. I'm a little bit insulted that you didn't want the world to know about us. I'm a celebrity, too. Of course you are, dear. <laughs> Flex, do you realize your life is about to become an open book because of me? Don't you think we're strong enough to fight off the press? Baby, I can handle the press. I am the press. <laughs> no, Flex. These people are vultures. They've been picking at me for years. Well, that's because you're one of the richest women in America. It comes with the territory. Now that it's all out in the open, we might as well go public. Mm -hmm. Do you want to escort me to the governor's reception tomorrow night? Oh, I would love to, as long as you promise to. <laughs> Is that why they call you Flex? <laughs> Again, cleaning each other like cats. <laughs> Dang, Arnaz, get a girl some room, let her breathe. You can just keep that gun, baby. <laughs> well, hello, guys. Haven't seen you in a couple of days. Sorry, Brianna. I've been lost in the wonderful world of Natasha. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm getting lost in the wonderful world of vomit if they don't stop doing that. <laughs> Uh, well, my little love bug, this is time for me to walk you to class. Oh, good, because these books are so heavy. <laughs> Dang, girl, didn't he used to walk you to class? Hey, baby, why the long face? Because I was tired of the short one. Uh oh, wait. Now I know that look. I see it in my mirror every day. Now, You've been rejected, huh? That's all right. You must be an emotional wreck, huh, baby? Huh? Yeah. Okay, bye. Come here. Who rejected Daddy's baby? I don't know. I, I can't even say. And anyway, you can't be rejected by someone you never wanted. Who, who did you never want? Nobody. I don't know. Somebody. All right, come on. Tell Daddy what's going on. Okay. So you know how Arnest is always getting on my nerves, doing stuff for me, right? Getting my lunch, walking me to class, doing my chores. Okay, you didn't hear the last one. <laughs> anyway, he doesn't do that stuff for me anymore ever since Miss Natasha came along with her perfect little personality, y'all friendly and nice and stuff. And anyway, he does not smell like peaches. He smells like apricots. <laughs> oh, my God. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. This is just crazy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> You have feelings for Arnaz. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> Daddy, I don't know. T tell me what's going on. OK, well, I don't want to encourage this, but if you really, really like Arnaz, and I hope you don't, <laughs> you got to talk to him, because there's nothing worse than watching somebody you care about fall for someone else. But, Daddy, you're not listening to me. I don't like him. I need someone to walk me to class, carry my books, and tell me how fine I am six times a day. <laughs> my baby's got it bad. <laughs> Looks so dazzling in that tux. Damn, I got good taste. <laughs> Usually, I'm not used to a delivery man showing up at my door, except with a pizza, you know, occasionally a subpoena. <laughs> But never a designer tux with a pair of diamond cufflinks. <laughs> yeah, mama takes care of her baby, doesn't she? <laughs> Shelly, you wicked thing. Mm -hmm. 
I see you found something new to play with. Donatella, stop it. <laughs> Flex, I want you to meet my producers. And girls, you remember Flex, the very successful sportscaster? <gasps> that, that's Sports Anchor, number one sportscast from 11.15 to 11.23, Monday through Friday. Thank you very much. <laughs> and girls, it doesn't hurt that he's only 33. <gasps> <gasps> what a workout. <laughs> Uh, hey, excuse me, Shelly. Uh, your little Billy Blanks would like to talk to you for a minute. <laughs> you know, I'm beginning to feel like a piece of meat, and I don't like it. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Now, you know us women. We get together, toss back the sauce, and become dirty girls. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and you can discipline me next week when we're in the Cayman Islands. <laughs> Vacation? But I got a job. It's hard for me to get time off. And what about Brianna? I mean, I know you don't have kids, but I can't just walk off and leave her. Didn't you do a show about that? <laughs> hey, you want this to work, right? How does a million five a year sound? For doing what? Whatever you want, as long as you do it with me. <laughs> I was thinking my new public relations director. What? Wait a minute. Mm, I have mm. my own job, and I don't... Wait a minute, baby. Not now. Wait a minute. <laughs> the cameras are upon us. Come on. Pose. So, Mr. Washington, how does it feel to be dating one of the most powerful women in America? Uh, I don't know. Shelly, why don't you tell her how I feel? <laughs> you did the right thing, Daddy. She can't rule you. You are Flex Washington. I don't know why saying your first and your last name means something, but it does. Thanks, baby. Who does she think she is offering me over a million dollars to be her public relations director? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm only a child, but someday when I'm going to an expensive college and bleeding you dry, you're going to regret this. <laughs> oh, hey, girl. You must be here to see my daddy. Well, you know what? Anytime you're in town and you want to have a cup of coffee and reminisce over the good times, okay? Call me, okay? <laughs> that was, um, quite some exit you made. Yeah, it would have been a lot more dramatic if I had remembered I was riding with you. Flex, you said you can handle being my man. Well, I can handle being your man. I don't think you can handle being my woman. I've done it again, haven't I? I've taken a good man and emasculated him. Just, just shriveled you up into a little eunuch. Oh, ho, 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 hold on now. Not even in the coldest of water do I shrivel. <laughs> but I want to thank you, Michelle, because you helped me realize that I need to be king in my own castle. Flex, I don't know what a woman like me is supposed to do. I can provide for myself. I can provide for you. Hell, I can provide for half of California. <laughs> No offense, Michelle, but you have control issues. It's like Dr. Gill says on your show. Oh, that quack, he been divorced eight times. <laughs> Michelle, I think what you've accomplished in your life is wonderful. But if you want a man like me, I mean, you, you gotta learn how to turn off all that. I'm Michelle McCall. I'm the woman in charge. Listen to me, I got diamonds, I got everything, I got a villa, all that. You gotta turn it off. <laughs> like, I can do that. Okay, I can't do that. <laughs> Well, I guess this is where we say goodbye. Take care of yourself, Flex. I had a wonderful time. And you are a sweet, sweet lady. Coleman is not my uncle. Hey, Daddy. Uh, so what happened? You found a way for Michelle to adopt you without me? No, even better. Arnaz is on his way over here with some cotton candy, my earth science notes, and my library books. I got my power back. I got my power back. Take that, Natasha. Brianna's powers activate. <laughs> uh, 
feeling real confident, huh? Yeah. It would be great if you used those powers to clean the tub. <laughs> Daddy, you so funny. <laughs> There you go. There's your science book and your notes. What about the cotton candy? Oh, sorry. I, I forgot. So, uh, I'll see you tomorrow at school. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Where are you going? I thought we was going to hang out. I got some stuff for us to do. Well, I can't. Someone's waiting for me. But, uh, I'll see you later, okay? Oh, and, uh, thanks for introducing me to Tasha. I really like her, and she actually likes me. on teasing it's gonna want to fight you back i'm trying to draw attention away from this huge zit on her forehead man i can't take the picture for my learner's permit with this huge speed bump on my face man that thing's so big boy they give it its own eye test <laughs> Daddy, this is serious this is the most important picture i'm gonna take in my entire life i have to look good Bree, it's just your learner's permit you don't only have it till you get your real license but mr washington this is a major milestone in a girl's life like your first kiss your first love, your first push-up bra. Everything has to be perfect and perky. The only thing perky in this house is the coffee. But she's right, Daddy. As of today, I will officially be a member of the driving public and a woman. Oh, baby, uh, you can't call yourself a woman until you stop having tea parties with your stuffed animals. <laughs> More tea, Mr. Boo Boo Bear. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> you didn't think I saw you, did you? Daddy! I'm just kidding, sweetie. You're well on your way to becoming a woman. I can't believe you're almost 16. Oh, what happened to my baby? Oh. Oh. I think she was smothered to death. I don't know. I just think sometimes if I hold on tight enough, you won't grow up so fast. Oh. Daddy, we gotta go. I know. I'm just trying to flatten your hair. So doggone big. <laughs> sometimes at the start, you can feel all by yourself. But I can't turn no one else So don't isolate yourself When there's nobody around uh, oh yeah. I'll be there for thinking then Why don't you love where you're from? Yeah, you do it against the world Live it one on one, one uh, on one yeah. Can't nobody break this bond yeah. Living one on one Life yeah. oh, was just because Now we have a fair one Living one on one Yeah, yeah, yeah One on one Dog. You think I'm chubby and out of shape? <laughs> what you talking about, D? Chubby is your shape. <laughs> no, no, seriously, Flex. Come on, man. I'm feeling a little insecure. I was flirting with this muscle babe down at the gym today. Oh, I know the type. Steroid breath, chin hair, but still cute. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and anyways, Mr. Super Bowl ring, Ray Lewis walks by, and all she can say is, ooh, look at Ray's butt. You can bounce a coat off of Ray's butt. Your butt look like it need a bra. <laughs> it hurt me, dog. I'm I'm not made of stone. And apparently neither is your butt. <laughs> I'm just kidding, dog. Hey, you know what? I can help you get in shape. Really? Yeah, first we can work on your pecs, uh -huh. get them nice and tight, oh, get them firm. <laughs> then we go to the arms, get them all cut up and everything. Oh, all right. I like yeah. where this is going. <laughs> what about the mushy tushy? <laughs> when I'm all done with you, it'll be sitting firm and high. <laughs> all right. Hell, you think you can give me those two little uh, dents on the side? <laughs> Women love those dents. <laughs> if you give me seven, eight months, I'll have you looking like an Adonis. Seven, eight months, man. There gotta be a quicker way to get those butt dents. <laughs> I can ram a shopping cart into you. Driving lessons, and I am perfectly coordinated to match your silver navigator. Okay. I am not teaching you how to drive dress like that. These block your peripheral vision. But and I... these nails prevent you from gripping the steering wheel properly. And those tight pants are staying on me. You failed. Today's lesson is over. Class dismissed. Well, can I have my fingernails back, Professor Hater? <laughs> Now, I believe in a firm hand, dog, but you went Joe Jackson on her. Yeah, well, she should stop dressing like LaToya. Seriously, Flex, why are you being so hard on Brianna? 
Man, I have to be hard on the D. Driving is serious business. Well, what about driver's ed? They got good teachers, don't they? Man, it's a public school. They teach them on lawn chairs while holding a Frisbee. <laughs> Man, don't you think you're going a little bit over the top on this? You haven't seen what the eyes of this newsman has seen. Charred minivans. <laughs> crumpled SUVs. All because some irresponsible teenager was too busy answering his two-way instead of keeping his eyes on the highway. <laughs> I like my daughter with her teeth. It don't make sense. Actually, I'm kind of surprised that you're <laughs> letting her practice in your precious new car. <laughs> I figured you tricked Nicole into using her. Oh, no, she's out of town, so I'm tricking you. <laughs> All right, you know, I guess uh, I don't mind donating my baby for Brianna's cause. I mean, she is my godchild. Thanks, dude. Ah, right, no problem, dog. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna be chilling you new navigator. Peace. <laughs> hey. Yeah, hello, I'd like to report a stolen navigator. <laughs> the guy who took it looks like a short black Oompa Loompa. <laughs> <laughs> the gas tank's full, tire pressure's equalized, I even aligned the steering. <laughs> I think we're ready to roll. Oh, finally! Oh, my God. But what's wrong? I know those people. They can't see me in this car from Pimps on Parade. <laughs> what, those are your friends? Hey, yeah, yeah, Brianna's friends. She's learning how to drive with her daddy. <laughs> you know what, it's okay. I told him I was adopted a long time ago. <laughs> All right, playtime is over. Oh, time to drive. <laughs> Today's lesson is over. Class dismissed. Why? 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 Because you started the car without putting on your seatbelt first. That's why. Oh, I'm sorry, Daddy. Can I have another chance? There's no second chance after you fly through a windshield and they're scraping you off the mud flap of an 18-wheeler. There's no second chance. <laughs> And out of control, Ford Escort approaches you with the high beams on. What do you do? I, I, I focus my eyes straight ahead away from the beams and watch the Escort in my peripherals. Correct. You're driving Spirit to the mall to buy some pink glitter eyeshadow when it suddenly starts to rain. <laughs> what do you do? I slow down because the first 30 minutes of rainfall are when the roads are the slickest. Correct. Your cruise in in my new red Ferrari during the solar eclipse on the four-lane highway under construction when a school bus full of kids suddenly stops. What do you do? Nothing, because even though you don't have a Ferrari, if you should ever get one, I would never drive it. Correct. You ready to get back behind the wheel? Oh, yes! Think fast. <laughs> reflexes need work. Up early in the morning, kill the chickens, what I'm doing. <laughs> Susie never made it to the prom. <laughs> because she was laying in a ditch. <laughs> folded in two. Now, the moral to this story is mascara and motor vehicles don't mix. <laughs> Oh, poor Susie. She was so young and pretty. No, no, no. Susie brought that on herself. What about that poor hitchhiker she didn't see? He's never gonna use that thumb again. <laughs> you wanna stay alive, think before you drive. Now, Brianna, our lesson will resume in the afternoon. Now, for homework, study your manual and these accident photos. <laughs> Okay, now do you guys see what I'm talking about? Ever since he's been teaching me how to drive, he's been acting insane. Look, Bree, your dad's just worried about you. And to tell you the truth, so am I. Really? Yeah, I tell my girlfriend Ginger that all the time. Well, one thing's for sure. If Ginger ever got into a car accident, she's got her own airbags. Yeah, she does. Then why aren't you with her? So I just want to hang with my friends, you know? Plus, all that kissing has my lips chapped, so, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, you know what, Spirit? If he thinks he's just gonna choose that other girl over me and we still gonna be friends, he's got another thing coming, okay? 
<laughs> Look at him drinking the milk out of the carton. He's so rude and sexy. <laughs> Spirit, Brianna, Arnaz, no time to talk. Things to do, wait to lose. <laughs> Where's your dad? You take too long, girl, take too long. Flex, gym, now. <laughs> Oh, he acted wow. like my Uncle Leon before he stole our TV. Shut up, what you doing, man? Flat. Every second I'm awake, there's an opportunity to lose a pound. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Fat Smasher Plus. Man, how much of this stuff did you take? Three packs. <laughs> I'm smashing, baby! <laughs> See, this stuff has some serious side effects. It's dangerous. No, it's cool, dog. It's cool. It helps you lose weight by speeding up your metabolism. <laughs> and your heart. <laughs> I'm okay. Okay, I'll take my rear view mirrors, my side view mirrors, um, my car's in park, my emergency brake is off, my hands are on 10 and 2, and my seatbelt is securely fastened. Are you ready? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let, let's take a deep breath. In with the brave in. Out with the scared in. All right, now let's proceed with the lesson. Okay. All right, yeah. Check your blind spot. Watch it, watch it, watch it! Both hands on the wheel, 10 and 2, 10 and 2. But I need to scratch. Take it off, we're driving here. Okay, all right, look both ways. Don't look at me! Look at the street! Do you know anything about driving? But Daddy, I was just... Turn right! Turn right! Where's your signal? Huh? I didn't see a signal. How does that car know what you're gonna do? Huh? You know what you're gonna do, but they don't know what you're gonna do. I said don't look at me! Okay. All right, speed up. All right, slow down, slow down. Watch out for the car in front. Watch out for the car behind. Ignore the spirit waving on the corner. Oh, don't hit the pothole! Oh. Why aren't your windshield wipers on? How can you not see the fire hydrant? Because I was looking at the pothole. Oh, what, you can't see the fire hydrant and the pothole? Would you gotta be cross-eyed to see them both? <laughs> you can't see two things at once? No, I can't. That's all I've been hearing all day. I can't do this. I can't do that. Brianna, if you're gonna be a good driver, you have to learn how to multitask. Daddy, none of this would've ever happened if you weren't screaming at me like a maniac. I wouldn't be screaming at you like a maniac if you weren't driving like one! Now drive and give me 20! Okay, you know what, Daddy? You're fired. Oh, hold on. You can't fire me. I'm the best teacher you'll ever have. Oh, no. I know of a better one. A real teacher. Someone who's patient and is always nice to me. You're doing fine, dear. Just slow down a little. But, Grandma, we just pulled out. I'm only doing five miles an hour. It's not even the speed limit. That's Grandma's speed limit. Slow down. <laughs> ah, that's better. Now, pull over. Uh, did I do something wrong? No, no. I just want to pick up my dry cleaning. <laughs> well, if you were any further from the curb, I'd have to call a taxi. <laughs> Okay, let's go. All right, cool. Oh, pull over. What's, what's wrong? I need to dash in the grocery store and get my lottery tickets. Grandma needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> and I suppose we'll be stopping for them, too. Mm. Spirit, she's been in there forever. Ooh, ooh, I see Arnaz's girlfriend. You think I could run Ginger over and tell the police I thought she was a fire hydrant? Ooh, here comes my grandma. Finally, girl, I gotta go. Bree, this is Miss Odessa, my friend. We're giving her a ride home. Okay. Hi, Miss Odessa. Hi, honey lamb. Eunice, she looks just like you. <laughs> I know. A little like Richard, too. <laughs> okay, everyone buckled up. Safety first. Whoa. Well, looks like you've got a speedy Gonzalez on your hands. Good thing I put some fresh glue on my wig. <laughs> Girl, I thought 
our nails are just giving you driving lessons around the neighborhood. Are we taking a detour through a Destiny Child video? Girl, this outfit is for our nails, okay? He said he just wants to be friends, but after he sees me in this, he gonna change his mind. I mean, I know how to drive a car, but I do know how to drive a boy. Crazy. <laughs> You've been practicing that line all day. Actually, yeah. What's up, Brianna? What's up, Spirit? Hey, Anna. Uh, Hello, friend. Um, you got a button open there. You shouldn't be looking here, friend. This is the friend zone. Well, I'm trying to tell you as a friend that your top is unbuttoned. Well, as a friend, you shouldn't be undressing me with your eyes, right, Spirit? Uh, uh, you know what, Brianna? I don't know what's wrong with you, but lately you've been acting all weird. Is it just me, Spirit? Uh, well, I've been acting weird. I'm not the one who went all cuckoo for ginger puffs. Look, I don't know what your deal is, but that day on the stoop, we agreed to just be friends. Wait, I didn't agree to anything. You said, let's just be friends and then walked away. If you don't want to be friends, just say so. <laughs> Let me think about it. Meanwhile, just teach me how to drive. All right, but just for the record, legally, you're supposed to practice driving with an adult over 21. Well, my dad doesn't know, won't hurt him. What I do know will kill you all! <laughs> so, how am I doing? Not bad, but I can see where your training has been lacking. Now, I'm not one to name names, but it's obvious Flex has ruined you by making you a purely defensive driver. Me, I'm all about the offense. Cut off before you get cut off. Uh, that wasn't in my driver's manual. Oh, this? This is defensive driving propaganda. <laughs> See those Catholic school girls? Now they think that the crosswalk is a force shield. No, don't slide out for them! If it's their time to go, it's their time to go. Is this you or that fat smasher plus talking? <laughs> I'm not taking that stuff anymore. <laughs> I swear, I'm clean. What'd you hear? Nothing. Relax. Are you okay? I mean, whoa, 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 whoa. Why wouldn't I be? I mean, I mean, why are you asking me all these questions? I mean, what? Is this some type of inter intervention? Is it hot in here? I can't. Is it hot? I'm at a four-way stop. Who, who goes first? Uh, I don't know who goes first. I know who's on third. Ah, I need some help. Hey, help me get this monkey off my back. Yeah, I'm telling you, boy, all day. <laughs> What's up with y'all eating those crabs? You know I'm trying to lose some weight. Can a brother get some support? Yeah, I told you to get off that stuff. Those mood swings are driving me crazy. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps calling me. <laughs> Son, why don't you just try exercise and a proper diet? That's a great idea. Thank you, Mr. Barnes. <laughs> don't mention it. Don't patronize me! <laughs> Ooh, butter. <laughs> you know, Flex, as much as I'm enjoying Sybil here, I gotta be leaving soon. I'm supposed to take Brianna driving after school. I'm still upset she doesn't want me teaching her. Oh, you can't blame my son. You see, unlike me, you lack patience. You? Patient? I remember one time I was walking so slow, you left me. So, you should have sped up. I was still in kindergarten, Pop, and I was wearing those special shoes. You know, the ones with the metal bar in the middle. Face it, you just don't have the skills that I do, Mr. Pigeon Toes. I was in Nam, son. I had landmines exploding right next to me, and I didn't flinch. Watch me work. Watch it! Watch it! Watch it! Oh, man, it's on the wheel! 10-2! 10-2! He is out of control. Look at that vein popping out his forehead. Man, his face looks like a road map. You don't know anything about driving. The only driving you doing is driving me to my grave. Oh, man. But, Grandpa, I was just... Don't, don't look at me! Look at the road! Look at the road! Go ahead and pull over. See, now you're both yelling at me. Ba baby, calm down. Look, I I I'm gonna talk to her, Dad. You? Oh, good luck. One of you can't drive, and the other one can't walk. You deserve each other. Hit it! <laughs> I've been waiting to do that for 18 years. <laughs> Are we just gonna leave him back there? Uh, let's give him some time to cool off. We'll pull over. Daddy, I am getting so tired of trying to learn how to drive. I mean, can't you just hire me a really cute chauffeur and I'll make do with that? Brian, I know we've been really tough on you. But when I hear your grandpa yell at you, I hear the same fear in his voice that I've heard in mine. Well, what are you afraid of? That I'll never learn how to drive and that you're going to die trying to teach me? A little bit of both. <laughs> but it's not just that. 
it, driving is dangerous, baby, and, and, and I'm afraid I could lose you, which is why I'm the wrong person to teach you. In fact, anyone who cares about you is the wrong person to teach you. Tell me about it. I've been close to pulling into oncoming traffic just to shut y'all up. Oh, it's just like we need to hire a profession. Someone with a death wish. <laughs> you mean it, Daddy? Yes, I do. Oh, shoot, here comes Grandpa. Should we let him in? You know, neither of y'all is too old for a butt whooping. Hit it! D, what's up? You ready to work out? Uh, yeah, uh, Flex, about that, man. Um, I don't think I'll be hitting the gym anymore. So, yeah, I found a woman who likes me as is. <laughs> Congratulations, man. That's good for you. Oh, thank you, dog. <laughs> hey, uh, BK, come in here, baby. <laughs> Ooh. And she even likes my mushy tushy. <laughs> you ready to go, baby? Oh, she's ready to go. <laughs> She was taking him to dinner and not for dinner. When are they gonna post that list? Relax, Arnaz, you've worked hard. They'll pick your band. Yeah, chill, Arnaz. We haven't seen you this nervous since we took you to see that movie with subtitles. <laughs> you know, Battle of the Bands is a big deal, Spirit. It's like if you went on a date with a guy and it. Oh, well, it's like if you went on a date with a guy. So exciting. I just know you're gonna win this whole thing. Aw, thanks, baby. Mm. Ugh, from the battle of the band and the battle of trying to keep my lunch down. <laughs> oh, is it the sweet? Pretty boy knew he was gonna lose, so he brought some shoulders to cry on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very funny, A Train. Or should I say, Albert? <laughs> At least I'm smart enough to use a nickname, Arnez. <laughs> <laughs> like the way you giggle, baby. What's your name? Oh, I'm sorry. I already got a man. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> I was talking to Red right here. Oh, I'm Spirit. A train, baby. And I'm feeling the spirit right now. Well, praise the Lord. <laughs> Here is the list for Battle of the Bands, and if you're not on it, please cry off campus. <laughs> yes, we're in! <laughs> That's rock and roll, baby. <laughs> we made it too, rock and blows. And here's a little taste of what you're gonna have to deal with. Solo quiero amar, se entregarte todo y se tu an. Piensas que te haré mal, pero no escucha corazón. Oh, yeah. Wow. Did you sound that bad? Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no. When there's nobody around uh, oh yeah. I'll be there to fix it then What oh, a true love we are Living one on one Can't nobody break this bond Living one on one Now we haven't found a one on one Living one on one One on one my new shirt? I'm with Zandra. Is that anything like I'm with Stupid? Well, Zandra is Arnaz's band. Oh, so the answer's yes. Flex, I'm gonna do it. Dwayne, look, I told you, if you liposuction your face, your head'll cave in. No. I'm gonna ask Candy to marry me. Oh, forget liposuction, you need brain surgery. <laughs> Congratulations, Dwayne. Don't pay any attention to Daddy. He just ate a pack of now one haters. Man, you can't ask Candy to marry you yet, Dwayne. You guys just got back together. Uh, you're not thinking clearly. You're all hopped up on, on makeup sex. <laughs> I'm hopped up on love, Flex. <laughs> I mean, now that I got Candy back, I never want to lose her again. 
Yeah, but you two look so odd together. You're round and she's tall. When you walk down the street, you look like a bowling ball chasing a pin. <laughs> At least I have a pin to chase. Strike. Ooh, out. <laughs> Wayne, marriage is serious, man. Your whole life changes. And, and you don't handle change well. You remember when they changed the mothers on the Fresh Prince? You didn't watch TV for a whole year. That's the point. Will was never the same after that. <laughs> All right, man, you don't know what's ahead of you. But maybe not, but I know what's behind me, and that's life without candy. Man, she's all I think about. She's all I want. She's all I need. Dumb idea number 682 by Dwayne. Oh, oh really? Well, well, you know what dumb idea number one was? Having you as my best friend. Uh -huh. oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah. Well, for your information, that was my dumb idea first. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> Okay, butter, tighten up the bridge. I'm Fitzy, let's bass drum more hi-hat. How about a break? Got a Snickers in the freezer that's just calling my name, dude. <laughs> I heard A-Train sing. Believe me, if we're gonna win this competition, we're gonna have to bring it. Hey, boo. Hey, guys, I got your new outfits. Check it out. <laughs> yep, you guys are gonna look fly. <laughs> uh, it's tight. No, we won't. These are all wrong. Look like hip hop butlers. Oh, well, yes. Actually, I think they're kind of cool. See, Chuck likes them. My name is Charlie, not Chuck. <laughs> oh, well, Chuck is just a nickname for Charlie, but if we ain't cool like that, then whatever. I got a nickname for Spirit, it's D's, as in D's suck. Good, then they match our music. <laughs> Go away, is that something I can look at? Oh, you won't be able to look at nothing if I knock those green eyes out your head. <laughs> Our next spirit worked really hard on those outfits for you. This competition is serious. If she can't bring it, she can bounce. What? Wait, hold up, Arnez. We've known each other our whole lives. I thought I was doing a favor for a friend, but I guess not. Look, I don't have time to talk about this spirit. Come on, guys, break's over. You had a break? <laughs> Candy. You are my sunshine. You light up my life. You make me feel brand new. I like it when you drop it like it's hot. <laughs> no. What? No, you can't use song titles. You're proposing to Candy, not the Yin Yang Twins. Hey, here's your Soul Plane DVD. I hope they have refunds on bootlegs. <laughs> Is that all flex because Danielle and I are kind of in the middle of something? Oh, finally, you're seeking professional help for your crazy. Oh, you know what? No, no, that's no, no listen, he's listen, not man. here for professional reasons. He's here as a friend. That's right. She's the kind of friend who helps friends with their proposals when other friends won't. Well, that's because other friends know better. That's you know why? Because you, you need to drop all the video. Why don't you go ahead and go all back? All right, all right, you two. What is going on? <laughs> Come on, you guys have been friends too long to act like this. Fine, you wanna know what the problem is? I don't think Dwayne and Candy should get married. <gasps> what, I told you that already. I, I wanted her to see my pain. <laughs> wanna see it again? <gasps> Flex, why would you say that? Because they just got back together and he's rushing into it. But you know what, I'm not rushing into anything. I think our breakup made us stronger. Yeah, I think you guys should come in and talk to me. You two could benefit from a session. With, with him? him? No, no, I ain't coming with him. I ain't going nowhere. Look, we don't need therapy, all right? He needs to just do what I say. Look, if you value your friendship, I suggest you come here tomorrow night, 8 o'clock sharp. Now, you guys are going to have to see yourselves out because I have a client coming and I have to go cover up my feet. Don't ask. What's up, Shouty? Hey, hey, you look good in that outfit. Uh, my baby made it for me. Your baby? Wait, excuse us, we need a homegirl moment. <laughs> What's up with you and Albert? Oh, you mean my new man, Albert? New man? When did that happen? Yesterday, you were there. Didn't you feel the magic? <laughs> All he did was ask you for your name. Abracadabra, baby. <laughs> you know, one thing led to another, and now my new relationship with A-Train is right on track. But he's the competition. He's not my competition. <laughs> 
Hey, uh, we're about to go in and rehearse. You two should come check out some real music. No, I don't think so. All right. We out. Come on, Brianna. I'm always there for you. Can't you be there for me? Okay, but just for one minute. Arnez, wait, let me explain. Explain what? Are you like A Train's music better than mine? No, I don't. <laughs> like I haven't been an emerging rock star for long. So when you see your girlfriend shaking her butt at another band's rehearsal, you know you got played. Hey, Arnez, are you sitting up for a mic check? No, I'm in the middle of a girlfriend check. Hey, those were supposed to be our outfits. Yo, dude. Look dope. Why aren't we wearing them again? You gave them my clothes? You didn't want them. You said they were, what was the word? Wrong? So now they're right. That's right, baby. It's all right. So it's like that, Spirit? No. It's like this. Arnez. Arnez, don't worry about them. Let's just go to your rehearsal. Sorry. Our rehearsal's closed. Let's just lack their back, you know what I'm saying? You know what? You know what? You're just dumb. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? That's nice and mature. I guess we know now why you're not married. Well, at least I've been married and I have a daughter. Well, at least I was smart enough not to have sex in high school. <laughs> like you had a choice. Oh, man. Look, I got that 40K. Okay, 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 enough. You guys have done nothing but argue since you've been up here. You're not listening to each other. You know what? Let's try something new. Oh, look at this, Dwayne. She's been in your closet. <laughs> These are role-playing puppets. Why I gotta be the princess, though? Maybe because you act like one. <laughs> oh, well, at least I'm taller than the puppets. Oh, wait a second. Now. <laughs> in heels, I yeah, got the puppets. Boys, yeah. boys, boys, boys. Stop acting like children and put your puppets on. <laughs> okay, they'll free you to hear each other's perspective without judgment. Now, Dwayne, using the frog, express how Flex sounds to you. I'm Flex Washington. I know everything. I'm smart, sexy, and handsome. I love solving everybody's problem. Not only do I catch flies, I am fly. Holla at you, amphibian. Not that. <laughs> now, Flex, how did it make you feel hearing Dwayne? Hi, I'm Dwayne. I have bad ideas and no game. <laughs> like the time when I wanted to open a restaurant and serve only chicken pots and call it beaks and feets. <sighs> let's, let's try coming from a place of understanding, not judgment. That wasn't me. That was the princess. <laughs> you know what? Man, this, this isn't therapy. This is ghetto Sesame Street. <laughs> All right. Well, let's just hit it straight on then. You think Dwayne getting married is a bad idea. Why? I think he's rushing into it. What, what, if, what if she breaks his heart again? Well, that's a risk Dwayne is willing to take. But who's going to have to be there to pick up the pieces, huh? Me. Look at him, Danielle. There's a lot of pieces there, and they're all heavy. <laughs> he's not thinking. He's just going to run off and, 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 and get married and, and... You know what? Never mind. This, this is just stupid. No, no, no. Go ahead. Finish your thought. I don't know. Leave, I guess. Is that what's been bothering you? You're afraid you're gonna be alone? Yeah. No. I mean, I don't know. I mean, things are just uh, moving so fast. I mean, one minute we're in high school, the next minute my daughter's going off to college and my best friend's getting married. Come on, Flex, man. I mean, I'm getting married, not going to prison. <laughs> Brother, you have no idea what marriage is, do you? <laughs> Come on, Flex. Man, you know me better than anybody. Man, and even though you, you make the big bucks, you know, and you get all the women, and you have the slight advantage in the looks department, and I do mean slight because, you know, you ain't got all this. <laughs> man, you never left me behind. And you know what? I'd never leave you, man.
Thank the... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Man, I am good. It's that one guy that jumps out the window that ends up on Oprah. Oh, so, uh, tell us, how did that make you feel? Talk to the frog. <laughs> I need to talk to you. Okay. Oh. Here, take this. I like roughnecks, but you're a little too rough. You you cut me. <laughs> okay, let's make this quick while he greasing up. <laughs> All right, Arnez is really mad at me, and I don't know what to do. Dump him. He's a jerk. Spirit, he's not a jerk. He's just acting like a jerk right now. He's under a lot of pressure. I don't care. This has been coming for a long time, and I've only been putting up with him because of you. But you guys have been friends since you were kids. Well, I guess I've outgrown them. But if you insist on staying with him, act like a supportive girlfriend and apologize. Musicians need that. Yo, baby doll. All the softness is going to waste. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta go. <laughs> What are you doing here? Arnez, I, I need to talk to you. About what? How much you don't like my music? No, see... Well, can you please put a shirt on so I can focus? <laughs> Look, I know how important the Battle of the Bands is to you, and I'm sorry for making you feel like I wasn't being supportive. That's fine, but I can't believe you're dancing to A-Train's music. Well, I can't apologize for that. I like his music. Can't we like different things? Brianna, he's my competition. I'm not voting for him, Arnez. I support you. That's what couples do. I don't agree with you not going to college, but I support you. I don't agree with you hiring Charlie, but I support you. I don't agree with you using old baloney as coasters, but I support you. <laughs> Dang, what do you like about me? Well, you can take your shirt off again. I like that. <laughs> Look, the point is, it's not about all that stuff. It's about us. And I will always be there for you. Thanks, baby. And now about this shirt. <laughs> I never thought Spirit would sell me out. Stop, Arnez. Spirit has been a good friend and a good person. Think about all the stuff that we've been through together. You should want her to be happy. Yeah, I guess you're right. Kind of just dumping on her anyway. <laughs> hey, Spirit, listen. That's exactly what I'm trying to do, Arnez. Listen to A Train. <laughs> Come on, Spirit. You and I cracking each other all the time. It's what we do, we've been doing since we were three years old. Remember I used to dog my Yogi Bear pajamas, want some little footies in them? You weren't three, you were 14, Arnaz. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'm trying to watch my boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he's done. Can we talk now? Now let's bring up our last band, Sandra. Yeah. Wow. 
now, man. I guess I can't call you rock and blows anymore. <laughs> Congratulations. Hey, I have an idea. You both rocked it. Why don't we go to my dad's restaurant and celebrate? What do you say, Spirit? Maybe another time. Come on, Spirit. I'm trying to be cool here. Well, it's a little too late for that. And if you excuse me, I've got a train to catch. <laughs> Baby, the boy is paying. We don't need his free crabs or his company. <laughs> Spirit, wait. Look, Brianna, like I said, we'll always be cool. You my girl. But our next? Look, I, I'll call you later, OK? Come on, baby. Say yes. I got an 800-square-foot lily pad right on the lake. So if I kiss you, do you promise to turn into a prince? Because I don't want to hook up with a horny toad. <laughs> How about an excited frog? <laughs> uh, it didn't work. You're still a frog. Look a little higher, you'll find your prince. <laughs> Look at your watch. You find your hours up. <laughs> Dwayne, you are something else. Who knew this much romance came in such a tiny package? Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> I am sized for fun. <laughs> Come here, girl. Oh. Mm. Sorry, oh, yeah. Mm. <gasps> Dwayne, did you see my baby? <laughs> from Dwayne's apartment. What's he up to now? I know that scream. He must have just showed Candy his bank statement. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, why don't you go over there and check on him? Daddy, has this horror movie taught us nothing? The beautiful teenage vixen is always the first to get it. You're more like the unsuspecting groundskeeper who always makes it to the closing credits. You go, you go. <laughs> all right, all right, be right back. Ah! Ah! No, baby, I'm not going back in there unless you do something about that little monster. Uh, Dwayne, I told you, lights off, then undress. <laughs> no, Flex, I have a mouse. And no, Candy is not a monster. It's one of Mother Nature's little creatures who just happens to have the ability to poop while it walks. Listen, I moved from the country to the city to get away from little creatures like mice. Now, baby, if there's one mouse, there's two. And if there's two, there's ten. Is that that new country man? <laughs> Until that mouse is gone, you will get no more of this candy. Well, come on, baby. <laughs> Joke's on her. I got my own candy. <laughs> you miss her already, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I eat to forget. Okay. Sometimes in the slide. When I can't turn no one else uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself When there's nobody around uh -huh. oh, yeah. I'll be better to think and then What a true love will you find Maybe you can get some more Maybe one on one One uh -huh. on yeah. one Can't nobody break this bond yeah. Maybe one on one 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 all right, team, what have we learned here today? I don't know, Hank, tell us. Thank you. <laughs> We've learned that good stories equal ratings. Ratings equal jobs. Jobs equal money. And money equals me roping a steer at cowboy camp. <laughs> but I digress. Look, the point is, the only segment that still has a pulse is our flex files. <laughs> And can I just say that my back is killing me from carrying all y'all? <laughs> there is no I in team, player. No, but there is one in superstar. <laughs> all right, team, you know, I'm almost glad we had this little chat here today. Look, just go out there, 
Get the good stories. Yeah, do the best you can. Okay. <laughs> Whew, and not so fast. Say, Ipistar. <laughs> Flex, I didn't want to embarrass you in front of your peers. I know how sensitive you can be about your precious little Flex files. What are you talking about, Hank? You said my ratings are great. I'm the king of sports shows. Uh -huh. Well, you've just lost your throne, your highness. <laughs> Blaine Lockraven's show is number one in your time slot, and that makes you... Don't say it, Hank! Number two! Oh. <laughs> what does Blaine Lockraven have that I don't have? I get good stories, too. I, I was there when Mike Tyson got out of jail. <laughs> Blaine Lockraven stole a car to get in jail with him. <laughs> what if I told you that Zorbo Vishnevisevic just transferred to my daughter's school? The Baltic Bomber? He's the hottest European import ever to play the game of basketball. Uh huh. Word on the street is he may skip college and go right to the NBA. But everybody in town's been trying to get near this kid. It's like he's got his own personal iron curtain. Uh -huh. <laughs> and who can leap an iron curtain in a single bound? <laughs> hmm? No clue. Wait. Did those mouse traps work? Oh, yeah. They work. Oh. <laughs> Baby, what if those traps didn't work? How you gonna catch the mouse? Oh. <laughs> Baby, in order to catch a mouse, you have to think like a mouse. Now, what catches mice? A cat. Too girly. Come on, baby. Think nature's hitman. What did you get, Dwayne? Ah, uh, there he is. Gordy! <laughs> That's me! Uh -huh. <laughs> get the mouse, Gordy. <laughs> get the mouse, Gordy. Now, the mouse, Gordy, no! <laughs> Yeah, Hank. Uh, yeah, so you went to scoop on Zorbo, huh? <laughs> well, my daughter tells me that every day during lunch, he practices by himself. <laughs> uh, it, it's Flex. Uh, Flex Washington? <laughs> Flat app? <laughs> anyway, I am gonna get the interview because I am the only reporter who knows about it. <laughs> Blaine Lockley. Well, this is Flex Washington. It's a pleasure to see you again. Sticky wicket, this one, eh? So, how do we get to this guy? Well, that's gonna require some wit, some panache, my young Flex. I remember once, uh, bear with me if you've heard this before. Anywho, I, uh, I once posed as a doctor in order to get the scoop on Shaq's toe surgery. Well, so you threw on some scrubs and snooped around a hospital. That's not so tricky. And. I performed an appendectomy. <laughs> Arnez, if you weren't gonna help us decorate for the pep rally, then why did you volunteer? Hmm, band practice or cheerleaders on ladders. <laughs> I'm choosing the ladder. <laughs> uh, a little to the left? That's not quite straight, Luis. <laughs> You peeping Tom. Ow! That hurt! You Americans, you have shoulders like the baby. The baby? Yeah, baby. Infant. Kitten. Puppy. Chick. Hey, who are you calling a chick? You, baby. Ow! Hey, who are you calling a baby? You baby. <clears throat> Yo, <clears throat> shorty. <clears throat> Hoodie hoo. <laughs> May I say, Brianna Barnes, you are looking very bootylicious today. <laughs> and you're off the heezy for sheezy. <laughs> what? 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 Well, I would just very much like to kick with you. Kick it? What? No, kick it. Kick it. What? What? Okay, how about bye? Bye. I have to get in there somehow. Some the air vents. Sandy, grease me! How do I get in there? 
Come to the PTA meeting, meet the new president, Flex Washington. Hey, that's me. <laughs> oh, excuse me, excuse me. Flex Washington, PTA president. Surprise gym inspection. Yes, right, we got a bake sale going on next week, so we uh, got bunt cakes coming in, we got muffins, snickerdoodles. <laughs> and we need to check the temperature in the gym to make sure the Snickers don't doodle. <laughs> Just stand there. Let me in, Mr. Furley. Come on. <laughs> Don't be mad. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, right. Here we are. This is where we at with it. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. It's okay. PTA. Hey, Zorbo, can you call off your bodyguards, man? They're not my bodyguards. They're my entourage. I must have crew for big pimping. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, I'm Flex Washington, WYNX Sports anchor and host of The Flex Files. Flat out. <laughs> ah, I see you uh, play a little ball, huh? Yeah, me too. Knicks, Clippers. You know, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about what you're going to do after graduation. You know, Ooh, uh. <laughs> Street shoes, street shoes. <laughs> in my country, I score 45 points in one game. Barefoot, <laughs> while dodging landmines. Well, speaking of dodging, rumor has it you're thinking about dodging college and going straight to the NBA. Everybody wants to know Zorbo's plans. But you know who knows? Who that? Zorbo knows. Game over. Hey, Daddy. You doing that Zorbo story? I was, but Zorbo's not talking. Yeah, don't feel bad. All he knows how to say is, what? What? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me this fine shorty, Brianna Barnes, is your daughter? What? She is beautiful. I just want you to know she's my favorite girl. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's uh, something special about her. <laughs> Let's make a deal, Flex Washington. You get me date with your daughter, I'll give you exclusive interview. Uh, uh, man, I'm sorry. As, as much as I want that exclusive, that, that's something I, I can't do. In that case, Быстро! Капла! Hey! Well, that was a nice move at the high school there, Flex, until you uh, hit that snag. Oh, you, you heard about that, Blaine? Oh, yeah. You, uh, you hear everything from the air vents, except for the cries of a man who's trapped inside. <laughs> Yeah, and it's that kind of dedication that got you a nationally syndicated show, champ. Oh, you, uh, you heard about that, did you? Oh, yeah, yeah, I've been stalking you for... I've been following your career for years. Wait, you, you going national? How come I'm not going national? Do we have to do this in public, Flex? I... Look, look, look. It's not as glamorous as it sounds, Washington. I, uh, I have the burden of having to entertain over 365 cities across the country. You only have to worry about Baltimore, so uh, who's the lucky one, huh? Well, actually, uh, actually, I am. I took the liberty of making a few copies of my resume. This one's for you. You're not going anywhere, Hank. You're my producer. I'm going to take you to the top. Because what you don't know is that little snag I hit earlier, yeah, it's, it's, it's sewn, uh-huh. Yeah, I took it to the tailor, and I had it altered. <laughs> so all of you, tune in tomorrow night for the hottest show in Baltimore on the Flex Files. Mm -hmm. Flex, Flex, are you telling me you finally trumped Blaine and got the Zorbo story? Oh, I'm sorry, Blaine. I'm sticking with my man, Flex. Mr. Flex. Brenna Barnes, she act like she want me to kick a hole in the speaker, grab the mic, and then jet. Let me guess, you uh, learned how to speak English watching BET? AJN3, number one, get back. Gordy, Gordy! Flex, have you seen Gordy? Who's Gordy, your imaginary friend? No, that's Jordy. <laughs> Gordy is Gordon, the snake, he's missing. Ah, Zorbo Visanisavik. Ah, uh, uh, Mektela, uh, uh, Yaku Krepla. Ha <laughs> ha, to mix with. <laughs> mignon, mignon. <laughs> you speak his language? Yeah, I used to deliver pizzas for Misha Petrovich's Pizza Palace. Yeah, a little Baltic small talk will get you a big tip. And some Spaggy Bark. Ah. <laughs> 
Fuck it, bug. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Gordy's on the move. See ya. Look, don't worry. You're gonna have a great time, okay? But no spocky buck. No chocolate? <laughs> no. No chocolate. <laughs> Baby, Brianna, daddy's home. I got a surprise for you. Oh, a surprise for me? Yeah, what is it? What is up, Brenna Barnes? It is me, Zorbo. <laughs> oh. Hi, hi, hi. I'm ready to get jiggy with you. <laughs> surprise! <laughs> Daddy, kitchen now. She's just overwhelmed with overwhelmness, all right? She should be all right. We'll be right back. After these messages. Daddy, what is Zorbo doing here? You are pimping me to get a story. I would never do such a thing. Now put on some lip gloss and go talk to the boy. Daddy, I'm not doing it. Baby, please. You have to do this for Daddy. I need this story. I told the guys I already had it. Now, all you have to do is talk to him. I mean, you talk to your stupid friends today. <laughs> if you do this for me, I promise I'll love you forever. You're my daddy. You're supposed to love me forever. Is that the risk you want to take? <laughs> daddy, you're being ridiculous. <sighs> okay, Brianna, let me paint the picture for you here. <sighs> if I don't get this interview, I lose my job, which means We'll lose our beautiful waterfront condo, <laughs> which means you'll have to wear the same clothes twice. Like spirit. <gasps> okay, I'll do it, Daddy. But I ain't gotta like it. <laughs> so, Brenna Barnes, why not you hot for me? too high profile for me. I have to be the star in all my relationships. You don't have to be star, baby, to be in my show. <laughs> ah, so you two getting along there? <laughs> Zorbo, you got any uh, future plans? I told you, I give you scoop after date. No doubt. Uh, speaking of scoop, why don't we get some ice cream? <laughs> I'll just have to run to the store. Uh, what do you like? Uh, cookie dog. Oh, I like cookie dog, too. Hey, something in common. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And remember, no spacky back. <laughs> I'm sorry, my dad could be a trip sometimes. Well, it's because he has a beautiful daughter. My father is the same way with my sister. And she looks like bear. <laughs> Gordon took care of that nasty mouse, right, baby? <laughs> Is that real? <laughs> yeah, baby. Um, I'd like you to meet my hawk, Ethan. <laughs> He's gonna find the snake that's running loose around my apartment to find the mouse that's also running loose around my apartment. <laughs> Couldn't you just call an exterminator? Well, I told you, baby, that's too girly. This is a man's apartment. It's survival of fittest up in here. <laughs> the mouse has exposed himself. Uh, Gordon is on the flank. The moment of truth is nigh. Attack, Ethan! Attack! <laughs> the circle of life. <laughs> so, what's it gonna be, Zorbo? College or the NBA? Zorbo wants to get paid. I go to NBA! Well, thanks for that exclusive, Zorbo. <laughs> ah, on your face! <laughs> what he said. Hey, what's all this? These are my parents. We're here for the wedding. Oh, nice to meet you. But well, who's getting married? Me and Zorbo. <laughs> In my country, Mr. Washington. When father makes date for his daughter, it is the same as an engagement. Welcome to family, daddy. Daddy, you have to 
help me. I don't want to be Mrs. Vicious. Vicious. Whatever his last name is. I told you once, Brianna Barnes, you call me Big Papa. Hey, 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 now, nobody's getting married up in here. This is all just a silly misunderstanding. Come, we must go, Brianna. Must prepare bridal bed. Daddy! Oh, no, you ain't taking my baby. I will take my belt off. I will... And... Hey, what, what's going on? It's only a joke, Daddy. This is my drama teacher, Mrs. Livingston, and her husband. Sorry to scare you, Daddy, but I owed you one. No, I'm, I'm sorry, baby. I was, I was wrong. I was, I was under a lot of pressure. I mean, you, you know I get a little crazy with competition. And Blaine Lockraven, boy, he'll do anything to get a story. I guess I took a page from his book. The wrong page. <laughs> Daddy, please, let me do the acting here, okay? <laughs> Come on, Zorbo. I'll be home by midnight. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where are you and Vladdy Divac going? We have the date. We're going to party like it's your birthday. <laughs> yeah, it turns out Zorbo's a really sweet guy. Plus, he's going to the NBA. <laughs> Holla. <laughs> edition of Lock on Sports USA. Tonight's big story, how far will a sports journalist go to secure an exclusive story with a basketball prodigy? Let's go live for the answer to Baltimore with sportscaster Flex Washington. How am I going to be live when I'm right here? <laughs> and right there. Wait a minute. Three-step and ready to get to the truth, pimp daddy. 